dear all, we all have wishes and dreams in life. In life. So today we are going to talk a little bit about how to use the language structure wish and if clauses, yes, to talk about hypothetical situations. So let's get started here. I want to show you something. Um, just a second. Okay, so look at this wonderful photo. Um, I had this dessert last weekend, and I really wish I, I had it. I had dulce de leche pancakes every day, like uh, caramel uh, pancakes every day. However, there is a problem. If I ate them every day, I would be a little bit fat. Yeah, not that I am not now, but fatter. Um, and uh, probably I would have health problems. So, if I had the pancakes every day, I would have health problems and I would become unhappy because of these health problems. Yes, like high cholesterol, high blood pressure, uh, high levels of sugar in the blood. So, I would be really unhappy. Um, is this a real situation? Not really, because I don't eat pancakes like uh, dulce de leche pancakes every day. So, only if I had them. It's a hypothetical situation, right? Now, let's see another one here. Let's move on to the next one. Just a second. Okay. Now, uh, we tend not to want failures in life, it doesn't seem good, yes? But there are some very famous failures, and I got this from Facebook, and I thought it was interesting, showing that uh, different people who had great failures uh, were then great famous successes in life, yes? Like huge, uh, you know, actors, actresses, and business people like uh, Steve Jobs, Walt Disney, Oprah, Michael Jackson, okay? So, I wish more people realize that failure is part of the learning process. Is this, uh, this is just a hope for the future. I wish that happened, but it's not really true right now, yeah? So, I wish they realized Every time you have the, the structure wish, you use I wish and then the subject plus the verb in the simple past. So, I wish more people realize that failure is part of the learning process. If more people realized failure is part of the learning process, they wouldn't give up at the first failing act. They would keep going and they would probably be very successful. They wouldn't fear making mistakes, and they would probably take more risks and be truly successful people, yeah? So, see that this is not a real situation again, it's just a hypothetical situation. And then, if they realize that, what would be the consequence for that? They wouldn't give up, they wouldn't fear making mistakes, and they would probably take more risks, and they would be um, really successful. So, here we are talking about causes and consequences. So, if they did that, something would happen or wouldn't happen, okay? So, in a hypothetical situation. So, just a, a quick review. I wish more people realized that. And if they realized that, they wouldn't give up so easily and they would, be, they would probably be more successful. Now, let me ask you about you. It's your turn now. So, um, how about practicing that? I wish I... What do you wish for? So, then... Complete the sentence, and if that happened, what would happen as a consequence, okay? Yes, yeah, so try to do that and uh, write a comment, uh, write your sentence in the comment area. Thank you.